Hello, I'm Mark Dolinar. I'm an applications engineer here with Hawkridge Systems. And today I'm gonna to be going over how you can install two different versions of SolidWorks on the same computer. In our case, I'm gonna have a version of 2017 installed and the SolidWorks Beta 2018 has just been released. So I wanna go ahead and test out the beta version of SolidWorks, see all the new tools and features that that version comes with. Now, there are other reasons why you may want to have two installations on your same computer. Perhaps maybe you're working with a customer who is using an older version of SolidWorks and wants you to go back and forth and send files. Another great reason to have two versions installed. However, let's go ahead and get started with this installation process. The very first thing you're going to have to do is go into your customer portal. Once you've signed into the customer portal itself, We'll go to our support section and find a tab that's called software updates. Inside the software update tab, you can go ahead and choose the version of SolidWorks you wish to install. In our case, I'm just going to go ahead and choose the SolidWorks Beta 2018. We'll go ahead and accept and continue and install this particular version of SolidWorks. Now, once that is installed, we're actually going to go over and open up your downloads folder. Inside the download folder itself, we'll actually see a SolidWorks setup, which is just a folder or a tool you'll use to unzip the SolidWorks uh, setup manager or installation manager. In our case, we'll walk through, do an individual installation on this one computer, and uh, go to the next screen, type in all of your individual serial numbers for your SolidWorks products. The screen following is just SolidWorks way of double checking to make sure you have adequate internet connection and everything is good and up to date. Now following this screen, because I am installing beta, we will reach a warning. Now because this is beta, SolidWorks recommends not to use this particular version for any production parts because inside of the beta version, there may still be bugs that exist. Just wait to use that 2018 until the final release date is announced. Until then, use your 2017 or before. However, we'll go into the summaries tab, see all the individual products that we're about to install. But because we wanna have two individual installations on our computer, we will have to do a couple of different things. First of which, we're gonna to have to go into our installation's location. We'll notice that by default, SOLIDWORKS is set to install into the C drive, program files, and SOLIDWORKS Corp. If you do install here, you will overwrite the previous version of SOLIDWORKS that you had. In our scenario, we're just gonna go over here, find our program files, and go ahead and download or create a brand new folder. In our case, we'll call it SOLIDWORKS Corporation, twenty eighteen beta go ahead and save in that folder and we can go to the next screen by doing this we're gonna have two separate installations of SolidWorks and none of the files will be overwriting now there is one more thing we will have to change and that's within our toolbox and whole wizard locations We'll once again notice that it's going into a standard folder for the toolbox. Now that's going to cause some problems later on down the line if you were to say save um, maybe your document or inf information into that individual folder. Um, maybe a 2018 file gets mixed with a 2017 file and you will have some issues created out of that. In our case, we'll just go ahead and create a brand new folder called SolidWorks data 2018 beta and save all of our information into here. Once we're done with this, we can go ahead and quickly install the software and SolidWorks will go ahead and do a dual installation. It's just going to grab all the files from offline and then when the download is complete, you'll then be able to have two separate versions of SolidWorks running on the exact same computer. To double check and make sure that everything's working properly, I always like to go ahead and open up both versions of SOLIDWORKS at the exact same time 
In this case, I have a copy of 2017 working on the left and one of 2018 working on the right. Now we can go ahead and open up a part in both of these different versions, see exactly how they act. Looks like everything is working fine. And now you have the capability of modeling in either 2017 or 2018. However, keep in mind that SOLIDWORKS does not support backdating, so if you design a part in 2018, it's not easily accessible in 2017. However, going forward will cause you no problem at all. There's one other thing I always like to double check when I do a dual install on my computer, and that's where SOLIDWORKS is referencing different file information. So to do this, we'll actually go directly into our system options. I'll go into my file locations folder, and I'll search through a couple of these folders to make sure that they're referencing the correct directory on my computer. In this case, the document templates is referencing the SOLIDWORKS Corporation 2018 folder that we created. So there won't be any cross compatibility issues there. And let's go ahead and check out say the sheet metal gauge table as well and make sure that the SOLIDWORKS Corp 2018 is once again being used. Now, if you saw a different folder being used here, for instance, just a standard SOLIDWORKS folder, you would know that both versions are running out of the same directory, which in the long run could cause trouble with either one of the versions. However, at this point in time, you're free to go ahead and use either version that you would like on your computer and work as normal. I'd like to thank you for watching this Hawkridge Systems video, and please make sure to like and subscribe to the Hawkridge Systems YouTube channel for more educational content such as this.